Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. You're feeling your abs contract, even with those curls here. You're exhaling as that thumb comes up to your shoulder. You have two more here. One more hammer curl and release. This is where we add it to that single leg lift. Push off that foot coming up nice and tall and hammer curl here. Now, when we come up out of that lift, you can pull that knee through, making it a little bit more challenging, trying to keep that foot from tapping the floor the entire time, or you can tap in between and then lift that knee. You can even just tap and put your foot on the floor without that knee lift. Either one is fine. One's a little bit more challenging than the other. You're gonna to continue to lift that leg back, keeping those hips nice and square to the floor. Eyes look in the direction of your chest. You wanna hold that chin retraction as best you can. That just helps get your abs activated. We're almost there. Your last one. And you go ahead and take a rest here. You can march it out. We're gonna add that all the way from the top if you're using a little bit of heavier weight, your grip strength, you know, might be, your hands might be getting a little tired, your forearms a little tired. So let's start here. We're gonna go into a reverse lunge. You're gonna get that regular bicep curl. We're gonna come up. You're gonna lift that leg back. Come all the way up, drive that knee and hammer curl. Now go back to reverse lunge, bicep curl, and then lift that leg, single lift. Come up to the hammer curl and then set yourself up for a reverse lunge. Single leg lift all the way up and hammer curl. Always feel free to modify anything you need to. If you need to do a reverse lunge where you don't go all the way down to the floor, that's okay. You're gonna go single leg lift, drive that knee up for a little bit of advanced move. Reverse bicep curl, going into single leg lift, and then your hammer curl, continuing this combination. We're almost there. Single lift into your hammer, hammer curl here. Now go back reverse bicep curl. This is it. Leg lift, hammer curl, and release it. We get to go over to that other side. Good. Switching hands, switching legs. It's reverse lunge first that we're gonna set up for. So that weight just hangs by your side. You're gonna step back into that reverse lunge. Drop that knee down as far as it feels comfortable for you. Making sure that that stationary leg feels fine, your knee feels okay, and nothing's causing any pain. Hold that chin retraction, getting those abs activated even with reverse lunges, we can still get our abs to activate and help us with that stability. You've got one more here and you're gonna come up nice and tall. Practice those bicep curls here. This is where we sneak in all the repetitions that we get. It's by doing exercises individually and then adding them together and creating a full combination of all the exercises. Rotating that palm up to the shoulder, rotate back down to the outside of the hip, making sure you're not swinging your body. You're exhaling as you pull that weight up to your shoulder. You have one more curl here. And now we're gonna add it together. So reverse lunge, curl in the bottom of that lunge, and then we step back together. Focus on that breath. Hold that lunge and curl. We're gonna exhale as you curl that weight up to the shoulder. You should feel a little bit of a burn in your glutes as well on that stationary leg. 
We're stepping back, curling that weight to the shoulder. We're almost there. You've got one more here. And hold that weight down. March it out if you need to. Step it out. Take a nice deep breath. Grab a sip of water. We're going to go to that leg lift here. So that heel lifts towards the ceiling. Our eyes are going to look in the direction as our chest. So as you bend forward, your eyes are looking directly over your feet. You're going to try to keep those hips square to the floor. We open our hips just to help us balance. So it helps you challenge your balance a little bit more as you keep your hips square to the floor. As you notice, I lose my balance every now and then or I have to readjust. And that's not nothing that you should be irritated at yourself about. It's just something that you're either using a heavier weight or maybe you're trying to move a little bit faster and it's throwing off your balance a little bit. That's okay. Slow it down. Focus on that focal point. We shake it out here. We get to do that hammer curl now. So this is an active rest. Getting your breath here. Nice deep inhale into the belly. Exhale through the mouth. So we get to stand still for the most part. Just working one arm at a time. This helps you slow your heart rate down just a little bit so that we can continue to move. You're gonna get one more hammer curl here. And then we're gonna add that together. Just shake that hand out if you need to. And now we're gonna go single leg lift. That heel goes up towards the ceiling. You come all the way up and bring that weight to the shoulder, lower back down. Feel free to drive that knee up through that single leg lift if you want something a little bit more challenging. Trying not to tap that toe in between. It's fine if you need to. If you need to put that foot on the floor, that's totally okay. Hold that chin retraction as you hinge forward. This just keeps you from getting that curve in your back and your neck. So we're trying to keep a neutral spine here. Two more. And last one here. We're gonna come up and curl that weight and release. Now, feel free to shake it out. Tap it out here, side to side, opening those hands back, opening the chest a little bit. We're just getting a little bit of a rest before we add all of that together. Feel free to grab a sip of water here if you need to. Okay, grab that weight. We're gonna go from that reverse lunge, bicep curl coming up, single leg lift, all the way up, knee drive with that hammer curl. Set it back up, reverse lunge, bicep curl, and then single leg lift, coming up to that hammer curl again and reverse lunge back. Go up to your leg lift and hammer curl. Set back up for your reverse lunge, bicep curl. Coming up, nice and tall, hammer curl. Back to your reverse lunge and single leg lift here. Add that hammer curl in, reverse lunge back, bicep curl. And then single leg, coming all the way up to that hammer curl. We're still going, reverse lunge, bicep curl. And single leg lift, hammer curl. It's hammer time, I'm just kidding. Okay, reverse lunge, bicep curl, single leg, hammer curl here. We're almost there. Keep going. All right, set that weight down, shake it out.
push those hips out, get a little breather. Grab that weight. We're gonna do those combos all over again. Single leg, hammer curl whenever we come up. Go back into your reverse lunge, bicep curl, and single leg lift. You're gonna go into your hammer curl, reverse lunge, bicep curl, and single leg up to your hammer curl. Last time, reverse lunge and single leg lift. Add that hammer curl. Now we're switching sides. Full combo, both sides. Reverse lunge, bicep curl. Coming up to that back leg lift into your hammer curl. Reverse lunge again, bicep curl, and then leg lift up to your hammer curl. You guys should have this combination down. You've got two more through. Leg lift all the way up to that hammer curl. And last one, reverse lunge, curl, single leg lift, and hammer curl. There you go. Trying to fatigue these muscles, we're gonna switch that weight, go into a bicep curl. Elbow is dug into the rib cage. You're pulling that palm straight up to the shoulder. Feeling that bicep burn. We're not doing any rotation or anything like that. We're almost there. All right, we're switching arms here. Elbow, dig into that rib cage, hold it there. Bring that palm straight up to the shoulder. Just that curl, no rotation. Trying to stay nice and straight, trying not to lean back just to get that weight up. But you can see it's getting to be a little bit of a struggle. Trying to curl that weight. If you need a little assist on one side, it's okay. Grab that weight with the other hand and release. That is it, guys. Full fatigue of those bicep muscles, getting them to build, get stronger. We're going to do arm circles back and tap that foot back as we open those arms and open that chest. If you felt like through this, you could have continued doing more bicep work. I want you to, next time you do this workout, to increase your weight, at least in the beginning of the workout, and then drop set if you need to. We're going forward arm circles here. Now we're gonna go into a figure four stretch. If you need to sit down to do this one, you can. If you can stand up, holding that ankle over the knee and then bend forward, open that knee slightly so that we feel that stretch in the outside of the thigh and down into the glutes. The outside of the thigh helps to get that IT band that is usually super painful and tight. If you're tight in the inner thigh, you'll feel this stretch in that area. We're coming up and we're gonna swap sides. Again, if you need a chair, you need to be seated for this, that's okay. Go ahead and have a seat if you have a hard time holding this and balancing, or you can have your lean up against the wall if you need to. Nice deep breaths, trying to slow our heart rate down, catch our breath, we're coming up. You're just gonna take your hands to the floor. We're gonna just hit that backside just a little bit there, okay? Relax those arms, relax your head, hanging down. We're gonna slowly come up, rounding that back and stand completely up. You guys have done an amazing job.